Boron halides are definitive Lewis acids. So the first chemistry that you should always expect if you're doing chemistry with boron halide is that it will function as a Lewis acid. So if you're asked for a chemical reaction between a boron halide and a second species, first of all, look at that second species. Is it a Lewis base? If the second species is a Lewis base, then the first interaction is always going to be donation of that lone pair of electrons into the vacant orbital on boron. The first reaction that will occur is formation of a Lewis acid, Lewis base adduct. So if we take, for example, boron trichloride and water, the first thing that will happen is that you will get coordination of one of the lone pairs on oxygen to the vacant orbital on boron, and you will form an adduct. If we have a Lewis base that is, for example, an ether, if you have a Lewis base that is an, am an alkyl amine, or a Lewis base which is a phosphine, trialkyl phosphine, or dimethyl sulfide, anything that has lone pairs of electrons but does not have protic hydrogens will simply form a Lewis acid, Lewis base adduct. All you get is the simple formation of a Lewis acid, Lewis base adduct. Now your base does not have to be neutral. The definition of a Lewis base is simply something which is a lone pair donor. And it's perfectly possible to have Lewis base donors which are anionic. So a good example of a Lewis base donor which is anionic is X minus, where X is a hal halogen atom. So X minus is a halide ion. If we're talking about boron trichloride, boron trichloride will form an adduct with the chloride anion. And that adduct would be boron tetrachloride anion. Boron tetrachloride, or indeed boron tetraiodide, boron tetrafluoride. These are tetrahedral anions. And they have, in their valency around the boron, they have the same number of electrons as, for example, carbon tetrachloride would have. So these are isoelectronic to carbon tetrachloride. Boron tetrahalide anions are isoelectronic. We have eight electrons. We have species that have an octet of electrons. So we know that the boron trihalides are going to be reactive because they don't have an octet of electrons. So why is it that if you take water and you react it with boron trichloride, you do not, the chemistry does not stop at the formation of a simple Lewis acid, Lewis base adduct. What actually occurs is hydrolysis. We get reaction to form three equivalents of hydrogen chloride, or hydrogen halide generally, and boric acid. So why does that happen, and how would we have predicted it? Why does the reaction just not stop at the Lewis acid, Lewis base adduct? So if I start off with boron trichloride, boron trichloride plus water has this essential structure, and I have lost my stereochemistry at this point. Why isn't that a stable compound? Why does it hydrolyze to give us boric acid and HCl? How do you predict chemical reactivity? Well, we predicted straight away that this was going to form a Lewis acid, Lewis base adduct, first of all. If you want to work out how a reaction will proceed, look at the polarity of the bond. How is the boron-chlorine bond polarized? The most electronegative element is chlorine, so it's carrying the delta negative charge. Boron is carrying a delta positive charge. We've got three of those. Let's do the same thing, and maybe a, a little bit quicker, for water. Delta negative on oxygen and delta positive on proton. OK, what's the guiding principle in electrostatics? Opposite charges to attract each other. So we're looking for oppositely charged species to attract each other in this chemistry. Well, I can see a negative bit here and a positive bit here, and I've already given you what the answer is, HCl. So this is going to generate HCl. And if we wanted um, to essentially... So what we have then is formation of a chlorine twice BOH species and one equivalent of HCl. And if we've done it once, we can do it three times. And that is the mechanism for the hydrolysis of the boron halides. And hopefully, that is the explanation for the hydrolysis of the boron halides.